The annual Idaho Smoke and Fire 400, a popular mountain bike race that tests the mental and physical toughness of athletes from all over the state, starts Wednesday. Idaho News 6 reporter Lindsay Amundsen shows us how some local adaptive athletes are attempting to be the first ones with permanent disabilities to complete the race. Four athletes from the Challenge Athletes Foundation are setting out to complete the 420 mile mountain bike race through some of the toughest terrains in Idaho. There's a lot of danger components that come from riding with uh, a disability, but the more dangerous thing is doing nothing. Meet the team, Andrea double leg amputee, William an above the elbow amputee, Lucas born with an underdeveloped left arm, and Mohammed born without his left femur. But more than their disabilities, their drive to overcome any obstacle and inspire others is what defines them. We wanna see more people like Andre, more people like Lucas, more people like Mohammed out there on those trails doing crazy beep things. It inspires the next generation of people with disabilities and parents with kids that are born today will see these guys and go, all right, my kid can go kick some butt. It won't be an easy task at hand. For a race that many abled bodies can't finish, the key to them completing it is teamwork. It's a true team in that without all of us, none of us would make it. Andre will rely on his teammates to carry his bike through the rugged terrain it can't make it through, as they'll rely on him for help too. For the bike, it's just unwieldy, it's big and heavy, so you know, relying on Muhammad and Lucas to basically get their bikes ahead, I'll start crawling, have them come back and then carry my bike through. Um, you know, a fear is that that's maybe too big of a toll on them. But pushing their bodies to the limits is nothing new to these four athletes. Their track record of accomplishments are long, but this race has its own unique set of challenges. We have unique challenges in the equipment, keeping that equipment running and staying in there for 400 and some miles. They'll work around the clock for five days, fully supporting themselves and nothing will stop them. And if everything went down, the prosthetic broke and the bike broke, I'll push it. So <laughs> I plan on I plan on using the time, but I have five days to finish it, so I, I will keep moving for five days and let's see what happens. For the team, it's about a lot more than just racing. Doing the most with what I had and seeing the world and um, that freedom to go anywhere, do anything, um, part of that felt, you know, lost. So kind of driving by the woods, I'd be like, oh man, I wish I could just throw on a backpack and just head out there for, you know, a week and, um, you know, realizing that there's, there's, still basically infinite things I can I can do and there's ways to get, get out there. The team will take off at 2.30 a.m. on Wednesday from right here in Hyde Park and they'll have five days to complete it. In Boise, Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6. And the CAF team also has two teammates from Mission 43, an organization comprised of veterans that will race alongside them and plans to finish alongside them as well.